here in just a little bit. Right now, uh, some trivia. That's right. Logan Crawford is at the place where Long Island kids are the masters of trivia, the Long Island Challenge. Hey, Carol. Hey, Doug. We are on the set of the Long Island Challenge, and we have Long Island Lutheran over here from Brookville, and we have the reigning Nassau County champs, Kellenberg, over here. I don't know about you guys, but this team really looks like a team because they've got a uniform on, and you guys don't. We'll chat with you in a second. Let's come on over here and talk to the big man of the Long Island Challenge, Scott Feldman, the world's best dressed newsman, one of the nicest guys I know, and one of the tallest guys I know as well. Wait a minute, I think you got and talk to these. Oh, I'm falling. I'm falling. Let's talk to these students quickly. I got a quick question for you. The question is before Alex Trebek hosted Jeopardy, who was the host? <laughs> no answer over here. Anybody know? Art Fleming. Anybody know? Art Fleming. See, they knew that. And I didn't even have to give them the answers. There's Corey with the buzzer. He was quick to give me the buzz. Next, the challenge. Welcome to the Long Island Challenge. And now, here he is, News 12 anchor, Scott Feldman. Hello again, and welcome to the Long Island Challenge. Thanks for joining us. Let's meet our teams who are competing tonight. First, our players from Long Island Lutheran. Heather Petrat, Jr. Jillian Marconi, Sr. Virtu Sanko, Sr. Thomas Mavravides, Jr. Long Island Lutheran, good to have you here tonight. Good luck to you. And now, your challengers are Nassau County defending champions, Kellenberg High School. Hi, I'm Phil Morrow, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Jonathan Urich, I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Nick Jillian, I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Mary Beth Westerman, and I'm a junior. Kellenberg, welcome, and good luck to you. Let's get started. Each team begins with 100 points. Round one is multiple choice. All the questions worth five points. In each category, there is one randomly placed bonus question that comes from our Newsday, Names of Long Island series, and that is worth an additional five points. And as always, the decision of our judges is final. So here are the categories in for round one. Explorers. Our grab bag. Health class and fractions. Long Island Lutheran and Kellenberg, good luck. We'll start with a question from the Explorers category. The Half Moon was the ship of what explorer? A. Martin Frobisher, B. Henry Hudson, C. Francis Drake, D. Amerigo Vespucci. Yes, Phil, Kellenberg. B. Henry Hudson. You've got it in Kellenberg. You're on the board. Your category, please. Uh, explorers. Sticking in our first category, answer correctly, get a bonus question. Matthew Henson was among the party that first reached A, Lake Tanganyika, B, the North Pole, C, the summit of Mount Everest, D, the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Virtue, Lutheran. B, the North Pole. You've got it, yes, it's Long Island Lutheran, you're on the board. You control the categories now. Health class. Health class. Health class, all right. Answer correctly, get a bonus question. Which is not a communicable disease? A, leukemia, B, meningitis, C, tuberculosis, D, conjunctivitis. Nick Kellenberg. A, leukemia? Yes, that's right. And here's your bonus. What Long Island State Park hosted the U.S. Open at its challenging black course in 2002? State Park. That's Page State Park. Yeah, it was a great event. <laughs> Kellenberg, you're in the lead by 10. You still control the board. Yeah. Uh, we'll stick yeah. with health class, please. A uh, pressure point for which artery is along the side of your neck? A, radial. B, carotid. C, femoral. D, brachial. Yes, Nick Kellenberg. B, the carotid. Carotid. Yes, you've got it, Nick. <laughs> Up by 15 now, Kellenberg. Well, we'll stick with health class, please. All right. Inadequate red blood cells or iron in the blood results in a condition known as A, mononucleosis, B, or C, hepatitis, D, anemia. Mary Beth Kellenberg. D, anemia. It is anemia, yes. Pick again, please. Uh, D, I will stick with health class. Last question in this category, encephalitis affects what organ? A, brain, B, heart, C, liver, D, stomach. Mary Beth Kellenberg. A, brain. It affects the brain, yes. Three categories, Kellenberg. Uh, we'll go back to explorers. All right, for our first category, how many voyages did Christopher Columbus make to the New World? 
A1, B2, C3, D4. Mary Beth Kellenberg. D4. Nicely done. Yes. Up by 30. Uh, we'll stay with explorers. Last question in this category. The English claims to her colonies in North America were founded on the explorations of A. John Cabot, B. Robert Scott, C. Matthew Flinders, or D. Sir Francis Drake. Mary Beth Kellenberg. A. John Cabot. John Cabot is the right answer. Yes. <laughs> Kellenberg in the lead, 14105. Two categories, fractions, art grab bag. I uh, will take art grab bag. First question in this category. The artist Diego Rivera has received much acclaim for his work in which medium? A. Murals, B. Mobiles, C. Ceramics, D. Holography. Jonathan Kellenberg. That would be A. Murals. It sure would. Murals, yes. <laughs> Uh, we'll take art grab bag. With what type of art is the name Robert Maplethorpe associated? A. Mosaics, B. Mobiles, C. Sculpture, D. Photography. Yes, Nick Kellenberg. Uh, B. Mobiles? No, incorrect. Captain, Long Island Lutheran. Photography? Yes, it is photography. <laughs> Long Island Lutheran, you control the board now. Fractions? First question in this category. How many pamphlets each one-third of an inch thick can be placed side by side on four shelves if each shelf is three feet long. A333, B386, C432, D464. Mary Beth, Kellenberg? C432. Yes, exactly right. You're in the lead by 40, Kellenberg. I will take our grab bag. Answer correctly, get a bonus question. Patina is a greenish coating Common on artworks made of A, clay, B, ivory, C, marble, D, bronze. Phil Kellenberg. D, bronze? Yes, that is exactly right. All right, Kellenberg, here's your bonus. What university constructed a campus on the a former estate of serial heiress Marjorie Merriweather Post in Brookville? What university constructed a campus on that estate? Long Island University. Long Island University. Yes, Nick. Long Island Lutheran 110, Kellenberg 160. Kellenberg still control the board. Art grab bag, please. Last question in this category. A person carving or engraving ivory or bone is involved in which art form? A, origami, B, scrimshaw, C, embossing, D, cruel work. Nick Kellenberg. B, scrimshaw. Correct. We'll move to the fractions category, our last category. Answer this correctly, teams. Get a bonus question. What fraction is equal to exactly half the sum of one-fourth and one-eighth? Is it A, one-half, B, one-third, C, three-eighths, or D, three-sixteenths? Nick Kellenberg. D, three-sixteenths. Correct. And your bonus. What British literary giant is celebrated in a festival at Hofstra University's Adams Playhouse each March? What British literary giant? Shakespeare? William Shakespeare. You've got it, Nick. Good going. Seven ace is the simplest representation of which fraction? A, 2,500 over 4,000. B, 3,000 over 4,700. C, 4,200 over 4,800. Or is it D, 4,700 over 5,300? Nick Kellenberg. C, 4,200 over 4,800? Yes. An auditorium contains 540 seats. One night, four-ninths of them were filled. The number of seats left unoccupied was A, 300, B, 250, C, 200, D, 350. Nick Kellenberg. A, 300. Good going. Yes, that's it. That is the end of round one. Good match tonight. Long Island Lutheran, 110. Kellenberg in the lead with 185. We're coming right back with our lightning round right after this. The Long Island Challenge is brought to you in part by Computer Associates, Dowling College, PC Richard and Son, and Tri-State Ford. Security software protect your entire enterprise without making you jump through hoops. Ready for the
the 10 o'clock thing? Coming. Ours can. Comprehensive security solutions from Computer Associates. We've got the gifts for everyone this holiday. PC Richard and Son. Save on microwave ovens from GE, Sharp, Panasonic, Whirlpool, and more. This Whirlpool fully electronic microwave oven or this Panasonic with 10 power settings, just $74 each. This Sharp over-the-range model, now $249. And pay no interest for six months till June 2003 on everything we sell. We've got the gifts for PC Richard this holiday at PC Richard and Son. Challenge down our lightning round. 60 seconds for the team's to answer 10 questions. Team to answer the most questions correctly gets 10 points. If a team goes 10 for 10, if they're perfect, they get an additional 10 points. Long Island Lutheran comes into the lightning round with 115 points. Let's take a look at the categories. Famous Toms and starts with Z. Lutheran, which would you like? Starts with Z. Following clues will describe a word that starts with the letter Z. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. And two speaking people of South Africa. Zulu. Yes. The practice of art or fermentation as in winemaking. Pass. Zymergy. A diploid cell that contains a full set of chromosomes. Ligo. Right. The branch of biology devoted to the study of the animal kingdom. Zoology. Yes. Aries, Taurus, Aquarius, and Pisces, part of this cycle. Zodiac. Yes. This metallic element has an atomic number of 40. Zig. Incorrect. Zirconium. The five-digit number used on the last line of an address. Zip code. Yes. The symbol of this metallic element is ZN. Zinc. That's zinc. Harare is the capital and largest city of this South African location. Zimbabwe. Yes. And in Greek mythology, he is the god of the sky and Zeus. ruler of the Olympian gods. Zeus. Zeus. Eight out of ten. Nicely done. Long Allen Lutheran. <laughs> Kellenberg, our defending Nassau County champions. 185 points. Guys, your category. Famous Toms. The following answers all describe a famous person named Tom. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Known for his roles in Jerry Maguire, Top Gun, and Mission Impossible. Tom Cruise. Right here in his second best actor Oscar for his role in Forrest Gump. Tom Hanks. Yes, he played Monica Geller's former boyfriend on Friends. Pass. Tom Selleck. He was Elvis Presley's promoter and manager. Tom Smith. Colonel Tom Parker. His songs include Delilah and What's New, Pussycat. Tom Jones. Right. This author created the character Jack Ryan. Uh, Tom Clancy. You've got it. This off-the-wall TV host and actor was once married to Drew Barrymore. Tom Green. Yes. He rocks with his band, The Heartbreakers. Tom Petty. Yes. This NBC News anchor is also the author of The Greatest Tom Generation. Brokaw. Tom Brokaw. And he is best friends with Huck Finn. Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer. Eight out of ten. We have a tie. Nicely played lightning round by both Kellenberg and Long Island Lutheran, five points each. All right, coming up next, our head-to-head -head drill, Sounds of the Cinema. Teams, you're going to hear a song that can be identified with a popular film. We want you to name the film. So teams, choose your player. We're coming right back with more of the challenge in just a moment. <laughs> financing for five years on Ford Explorer. That's zero percent financing for five full years during the Ford year-end clearance now. Let's take the road before they sing a chorus of two. Come on, it's lovely, we're on the Ford together with you. A lot of my friends were talking about going away to school, so I thought I should too. But then I found out about the School of Education at Dowling College. I've always been drawn to teaching, and at Dowling, I'm able to make my dream come true right here. It feels good to know that I'm going to make a difference. With two campuses, renowned faculty, and prestigious academic programs, discover why your success is right here at Dowling, the personal college. Call us today. Please enter password. Please scan retina. Please submit blood sample. Please submit air sample. 
security software protect your entire enterprise without making you jump through hoops? Ready for that 10 o'clock date? Coming. Ours can. Comprehensive security solutions from Computer Associates. We've got the gifts for everyone this holiday. PC Richard and Son. Check our circular for hundreds of sales specials on flat panel LCD and plasma TVs from Shot, Panasonic, Sony, Philips, and more. This Shot 20-inch flat panel LCD TV, just $18.99. This 42-inch Philips plasma screen, a great holiday saving. And pay no interest for six months till June 2003 on everything we sell. We've got the gifts at PC Richard this holiday at PC Richard and Son. Welcome back to the Long Island Challenge, our head-to-head -head competition right now, our category Sounds of the Cinema. In this drill, players, you're going to hear a song that can be identified with a popular film. We want you to name the film. Team to answer the most questions correctly gets 10 points. Virtue is playing for Long Island Lutheran and Nick for Kellenberg. Nick, Virtue, are you ready? Yes. Here we go with song number one. <laughs> Charlie's Angels. Right, starring Drew Barrymore. Here's song number two. Nick. E.T. E.T., right, directed by Steven Spielberg. Song number three. Virtue. Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge by Lady Marmalade. And here's song number four. Come on, y'all. Can I saw her face? <laughs> Nick. Shrek. You've got an I'm a Believer featuring Eddie Murphy. Song number five. Godfather. Virtue. The Godfather, right. Speak softly, love is the song. And here's your final song, song number six. Virtue. Titanic. Titanic, my heart will go on. Nicely done, Virtue. Virtue wins the head-to-head -head competition. Guys, head back to your team, please. We'll start round four. In round four, the questions are now worth 10 points. The 10 points will be deducted for an incorrect answer, except our bonus question. So let's take a look at the categories then for round four. Here they are. Martin Luther King, Word Origins, Gravity, and Viam. Our score, Long Island Lutheran, 130. Kellenberg in the lead, 190. Teams will start with a question from the uh, Martin Luther King category. Martin Luther King left his pastorship in Montgomery to preside full-time over the SCLC headquarters in Atlanta. This abbreviation, SCLC, stands for what? Nick Kellenberg. Southern Christian Leadership Conference? Yes. <laughs> Kellenberg, you control the board now. Uh, Martin Luther King, please. Answer correctly, get a bonus question. In 1965, Martin Luther King led some 25,000 people in a march from Selma to what other city in Alabama? Nick Kellenberg. Montgomery. Montgomery, yes. Your bonus, Kellenberg, the boulevard surrounding Mitchell Park Athletic Complex in Uniondale is named after a famous aviator who took off from Long Island. Name this aviator. Charles Lindbergh. Charles Lindbergh is flight to Paris, yes. Kellenberg, yes. 220 points. Continue on, please. Martin Luther King, please. From a jail in what city did Martin Luther King write a memorable letter encouraging nonviolent action in pursuit of civil rights? Nick Kellenberg. Birmingham? It was Birmingham, yes. Pick again, please. Martin Luther King, please. Martin Luther King was ordained in what religion? Nick Kellenberg. Baptist? Correct. Martin Luther King, please. In what city? Was Martin Luther King assassinated? Nick Kellenberg. Memphis? It was Memphis, yes. Martin Luther King, please. Martin Luther King was the youngest man ever to win what important prize? Nick Kellenberg. Nobel Peace Prize? You got it again, Nick. Yeah. Martin Luther King, please. Last question in this category. Dr. Martin Luther King delivered his I Have a Dream speech in what? U.S. City. Thomas Lutheran. Washington, D.C. Was Washington, D.C. <laughs> Lutheran, you control the board now. Word origins? First question in this category. Get it right. Get a bonus question. These prefixes were derived from what language? 
anti, pre, contra, pro, ob, semi. Nick Kellenberg. Latin. Latin. This bonus in what western Suffolk community would you find a high school named after astronaut John Glenn who orbited Earth in a spaceship in 1962? Okay. Elwood. Elwood, that's it. Yeah, Nick. All right, Kellenberg, pick again, please. Word yeah. origins. origins, please. What is the literal meaning of the name for the state of Vermont, which comes from the French words Verdmont? Thomas Lutheran. Green Mountain. Green Mountain. You've got it. All right, Long Island Lutheran, you control the board now. Word origins. The suffix Nick was found in such words as beat Nick and no good Nick was taken from what language? Virtue, Lutheran. German. No, incorrect. Captain Kellenberg. Russian. Russian is the right answer, yes. <laughs> Kellenberg, you control the board. Yeah. Word origins, please. What English word derived from the Latin word imperator means a supreme ruler? Phil Kellenberg. Emperor. Correct. <laughs> Category. Word origins, please. The symbol for what element was taken from the Latin word ferrum? Nick Kellenberg. Iron. Yes. Pick again, please. Word origins, please. What term for a lengthy athletic competition was derived from the battle in which severely outnumbered Athenians defeated a host of Persians? Mary Beth Kellenberg. Marathon. You've got it. Nice. Okay. I will stay with word origins, please. Last question in this category, teams. What word borrowed from the Algonquin Indians was used in the Old West to mean a council or conference with the Indians? Jonathan Kellenberg. Powwow. Powwow. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Two categories left, Kellenberg. Gravity and volume. Gravity. 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 You'll take gravity? All right. Who first uh, stated this principle? Were it not for the effects of air resistance, a feather would fall to the earth as fast as a cannonball. Nick Kellenberg. Uh, Galileo. Galileo, sure. Pick again, please. Gravity? Yeah. Gravity, please. Any movement or growth of a living organism in response to the force of gravity is known as what kind of tropism? Nick Kellenberg. A geotropism? You've got it. Gravity, please. Answer correctly. Get a bonus question. Mass multiplied by acceleration due to gravity equals what? Nick Kellenberg. Acceleration. Incorrect. Oh, no. Captain Lutheran. Force. 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 Incorrect. We're looking for weight. We'll go to the volume category. How many cubic inches are there in 10 cubic feet? Yes, Jillian Lutheran. 100 feet cubed. No, incorrect. Captain Kellenberg. 120? No, 17,280. We move to the gravity category. What's the uh, four-syllable name for the path of an object moving through space as it's affected by gravity? Yes, Nick? Trajectory? Trajectory or parabola, yes. <laughs> gravity, please. What is the two-word phrase for the minimum speed a space vehicle needs to become free of the Earth's gravitational pull? Phil Kellenberg. Escape velocity. That's it. Yeah. You've got it. Well, let's take a short break. Our score, Long Island Lutheran 120. Kellenberg in the lead, 350. We're coming right back. Final two minutes of the challenge tonight. Don't go away. Challenge is brought to you in part by Computer Associates, Dowling College, D.C. Richard and Son, and Tri-State Ford. percent financing for five years on Ford Explorer. That's zero percent financing for five full years during the Ford year-end clearance now. Let's take the road before they sing a chorus on two. Come on, it's lovely when well, the Ford play right together with you. A lot of my friends were talking about going away to school, so I thought I should too. But then I found out about the School of Arts and Sciences at Dowling. Class 
classes are small, and I get the kind of well-rounded, practical education that can take me anywhere I want to go. And right now, I better go get started on those sketches. With two campuses, renowned faculty, and prestigious academic programs, discover why your success is right here at Dowling. The Personal College. Call us today. Thanks for joining us tonight for the Long Island Challenge. Final two minutes in our match this evening between Long Island Lutheran and Kellenberg. Kellenberg, you control the board. Which category would you like? Uh, we'll take gravity, please. All right. Acceleration due to gravity is how many meters per second per second? <phone rings> yes, Bert, you Lutheran. 9.8. You've got it. Lutheran, you control the board now. Volume. Volume? Each of uh, W cases contains X boxes, and each box contains Z items. What is the total number of items in the W cases? <phone rings> Thomas Lutheran. X and Z? No, incorrect. Captain Kellenberg. No answer. WX, WXZ. That's it, WXZ. All right, we move to gravity. In what city did Galileo perform his experiments dealing with gravity? Nick Kellenberg. Pisa. That's it. From the volume category, the ratio of the volumes of two similar pyramids is 8 to 27. What is the ratio of their total surface areas? <coughs> Phil Kellenberg. 2 to 3. No, incorrect. No Captain answer. Lutheran. No answer. 4 to 9. There's another question from volume for you, teams. The sum of the edges of a cube is 60 feet. The volume of this cube is what? Looking for 125 cubic feet. From volume again, what's the standard unit of measurement for 231 cubic inches of a fluid? Jonathan Kellenberg. Leader. No, incorrect. Captain Lutheran. Um, no answer. Gallon. Consider a pyramid team with a rectangular base of width four and length six. If the figure is six feet tall, what is its volume? Thomas Lutheran. Um, 172 inches cubed. No. Captain Kellenberg. No answer. 48 cubic feet. And that is the end of the round, the end of our game. Long Island Lutheran 110, Kellenberg High School 340. Kellenberg, you are our champions tonight. Congratulations. Now, next time on the Long Island Challenge, St. Anthony will face off against West Islip. Until then, I'm Scott Feldman. Thanks for joining us on the Long Island Challenge. Good night, everybody.